The challenge of LTE and LTE Advanced is huge. So is the second edition of Agilent's LTE Book of Technical Insights. With over 200 new and updated pages, it includes more detail on the physical and upper layers, information on MIMO and advanced receiver testing, the latest on conformance testing, how to lower non-signaling testing cost, and more. In the LTE book, engineers contribute insights to provide you with an understanding of LTE that comes from working with the technology on a daily basis, both in the lab and on the committees that are defining the LTE standards. To tell you more about the LTE book, here is the editor. Hello, my name is Murray Rumney and I'm the editor of Agilent's book, LTE and the Evolution to 4G Wireless. This book was first introduced in 2009 and it was split in two parts. The first part provided an easily accessible description of LTE technology and the second part focused on the design and test challenges of mobiles and base stations. Since the first book was introduced, there have been an awful lot of changes in the 3GPP standards, and so we've introduced a second edition of the book, which covers Release 9, Release 10, and Release 11, with a look ahead to some of the features in Release 12. For Release 9, we included a new section on multi-standard radio and the design challenges for the base station. In Release 10, we focus on LTE Advanced, which brings in many new radio uh, issues in particular multi-antenna enhanced transmission for the uplink and downlink and we have a new section on beamforming for testing base stations. Also covered in some detail is carrier aggregation and the design challenges associated with that. For Elise 11 we cover the changes for coordinated multipoint transmission and also an important new section for the mobile on over-the-air testing for MIMO and there's a new section dedicated to that subject. Looking ahead to release 12, this is not yet fully defined, but we cover the recent uh, workshop which uh, discussed the evolution towards release 12, and we include discussion of various study items which are ongoing, including LTE Direct, which is the ability of mobiles to communicate with each other, and also active antenna array systems, which is the uh, testing of base station multi-antenna performance. We also have updated the section on conformance testing for mobiles and base stations, and we have a new section on non-signaling test for mobile phones for manufacturing. The focus of the book, LTE and the Evolution to 4G Wireless, is to explain design and measurement tools and techniques that engineering teams can use to accelerate meeting goals in developing your own products. For more information on how to download a chapter or to order your copy of Agilent's second edition LTE book, please visit www.agilent.com slash find slash LTE book.